let's take a look at how a pre-tax product compares with the IUL to see if it's the right vehicle for you. Anna, where's your money right now? Say you've saved $500,000 over time in your 401k. During your first year of retirement, you take out $100,000. If you're still at a 25% tax bracket, the first thing you'll do is send the IRS $25,000. You and your family can use the other $75,000 and you have $400,000 left in your account. If you had that $500,000 in an IUL, you could pull $100,000, your family could use $100,000 and you don't pay taxes and you still have $500,000 in your account. The insurance company doesn't send you money from your account, they loan you the money. You don't pay the money back. It's discounted from your policy upon death. Another difference between your 401k and an IUL. Say the S&P gained 10% this year. You'd get 10% of your $400,000 balance and would have $440,000. Okay. But in an IUL, you'd get 10% of $500,000. Nice, right? Let's keep going. In the second year of your retirement, you take out another $100,000 from your 401k. There goes another $25,000 to Uncle Sam. You've now paid how much in taxes? And your account sits at $340,000. Another $100,000 from an IUL? Yep, no taxes. And your balance is still $550,000 and growing. Another 10% year in the market, and the IUL climbs to $605,000. The 401k? You get that same 10%, but that only gets you to $374,000. Seems like one keeps growing, and one is falling. Which one do you want for your family?